Whoa! That was scary! Don't worry, it wasn't a real tiger. That was a shadow puppet. We first used shadow puppetry in the Han Dynasty. It's all over Asia. This is a beautiful form of theatre that is still seen today. Wayang is Javanese for shadow. Shadow puppets have been used since the 10th century in Indonesia. Wayang puppets were made of leather. They were used to tell Hindu stories. The puppet shows were often accompanied by a gamelan orchestra, which played beautiful music, like this. Corey, I think that's your phone. Oh, yes. Hello. Oh, I mean, konnichiwa. Sorry, Chen. I've got to go to Japan to meet a friend. Have fun. Oh, and tell your friends they can learn to make shadow puppets with us later. That sounds amazing. See you. Hi, Corey. I heard you were learning about Asian theatre. I am. Can you tell me about your favourite theatre styles from Japan? No. Oh, please. No. Well, that's not very nice. <laughs> no, I mean N-O-H, no. There are lots of important theatre styles from Japan, but no theatre is my favourite. It's a very old form of theatre, first seen in the 14th century. It uses masks, a bit like the Chinese opera ones that Chen told you about. There are six main types of masks. Otoko men masks are raw masks of men. Some are middle-aged. Some are younger. Some are rich and important. And some are lower class. The jaw men masks, like this kojo mask, or this asakura jaw mask, are older people. And these okina men masks represent wise old men that must be treated with great respect. The onna men masks are all women. This is Omi Onna, who is a poor young woman. This is Shakumi, a very elegant older woman who has had some very tragic life experiences. So each character has a story. Yes, even these two. Ah! What are those? This one is a Kishin Men mask, or demon mask. There are lots of demons, gods, creatures, and goblins in Norse stories. And this one... Is, is that a, a ghost? Exactly! Onlyo Men masks like this one represent spirits or ghosts. There are around 60 different Noor masks in total. So, I just put the mask on and become the character? Cool! I want to be a spirit. It's not that simple. Noor theatre comes from dances, so performers use dance, acrobatics, mime, juggling and music to tell the story. Gosh! Asian theatre is so varied. There are so many different styles. I like that it is so visual. You tell stories with your bodies, with masks and puppets, and with music, not just with words. Yes, Asian theatre is very exciting. You haven't met Shin. He loves Japanese kabuki dramas. Or my friend Ling, she's a dancer in Vietnam. Oh, and you would love Anissa. She wears a mask and acts in the Wayang Wong plays in Java. Oh, and you have to meet Diwa. He's a star in the Sarsuela love stories they tell in the Philippines. And there's Jim. Okay, okay, I get it. You have lots of friends. And also, I see that there are so many different forms of theatre in Asia. 
that I need to do a bit more research. Hey, are you guys still there? If so, why don't you pick a country in Asia and do some of your own research about the theatre they make there? And I'll see you back in our theatre. I had such a great time learning about the history of theatre from around the world, but I'm so glad to be home again. I'm back here at the Saiwan Ho Civic Centre Theatre with Aftec. Oh, wait a moment. I forgot to tell you about Aftec. Silly me. Aftec is a bilingual learning theatre dedicated to nurturing the next generation of young people. We believe in the power of the arts to inspire, motivate and transform. In our productions, we take lots of inspiration from both the West and the East when we make theatre. We use ideas from ancient Greece, like the chorus, the stage machinery and the Greeks' love of using interesting language to tell story. But we are also inspired by Asian theatre, from dance and puppetry to music and masks. Here are some clips of plays we have made. Can you spot the moments that are inspired by Greek theatre? Can you spot the moments that are influenced by Asian theatre? So, would you like to know what play we're working on now? It's a Sherlock Holmes story called The Speckled Band. We filmed it so that you can see it. Once you've watched it, you can take a look at the rest of these chapters to learn all about how we made the play happen. It takes a lot of people, a lot of time and effort to make a play. So we really hope you enjoy the show. <laughs>